Hey guys, Don here. I just got back from an early morning hunt. Found some nice fluorescent stones. We'll take a look at those. Found some trash. I'll have to show you that as well. Give you an idea what I do out there. And uh, it's getting kind of treacherous. A lot of ice on those rocks. It's probably going to be the last hunt of the year. So let's go see what I found. All right, guys, we're going to go through this bag as I am. Um, just kind of one at a time, show you what I found. Now, I know I found some fake rocks. What does that mean? I'll show you in a minute. Um, carry this bag on my over my shoulder. It's kind of nice for collecting rocks. So I'm just going to put them out here, and then I'm going to adjust my lights a little bit. And I'll turn on the, the lights and let you see them under normal light. Got some nice glowy ones. This one's pretty bright. Speckly. This one's kind of nice. It has some purplish uh, hues to it. I don't know if that's showing up. Hopefully it is. And I found some, some small ones. They can be pretty bright as well. A nice little guy there. Adjust the light. And then this one. It's completely different than the rest, the texture and everything. I believe it's fake. In other words, I believe someone painted, uh, put some fluorescent paint on it. That, of course, is a, a real fluorescent soda light. Another nice one. No. Oh, yeah. This is <laughs> found this on the beach as well. Um, it's actually bone. It's part of a bone. So that fluoresces real well. So does this one, another nice stone. What else do we have? Pretty good one there. And this one also has a completely different texture and I can tell that it's it too has been painted with reflective paint. I don't know why someone would, would do that and then throw it on the beach, I guess just to mess with people. Not the nicest thing to do. And then my lucky die. This, uh, I call it my lucky die because I found it tonight and I dropped it from my satchel and it fell into the rocks and I didn't want to leave it so I started pulling stones away and that's when I found this guy. Pretty neat. So my lucky die let me find some, uh, some neat stones. Okay, and this is what they look like under normal light. You can see some of them are still wet. Just came back from the beach this morning. I wanted to show you real, fa real fast a sphere. I've been making spheres out of these guys, out of the larger stones. Pretty neat. I'm going to turn off the light, let you see, uh, let you see what that looks like. Okay, turn off my lights real fast. There, how does that look? You may have seen a photo of this. I actually put it online on Facebook you know, a couple months ago. But um, I've got some new spheres coming in. I'm going to save for another video. Um, this is, I guess, a little teaser. Give you guys an idea what you can do with these. We've been making jewelry out of them as well. Some necklaces. I have another necklace coming in next week that I want to show you. So I'll put together a video about spheres and jewelry uh, next week. So when I'm on the beach looking for fluorescent rocks I oftentimes stumble across some trash and I always pick it up so you can see I've got this rather large boat bumper looks pretty new too the last one I gave to my neighbor I'll probably do the same with this one um, I don't have a boat yes I did this looks like the inside of a ball you see these from time to time it's really light um, it looks almost like a bird's nest but it isn't it's actually the inside of a like, you know, tennis ball or something and plastic bottles they really fluoresce Thankfully, you can find them easily on the beach at night and pick them up. I don't know what this is, a piece of foam or something. There's some reflective tape. I mean, that gets really bright even, even during the day. Planters peanuts. So yeah, when you're out hunting for uh, uperlites, whatever you want to call them, fluorescent sodalite, uh, take a moment and pick up some trash too.